Art students, Brian Proctor back again with another lesson, and this one is on proportions. I didn't shave this morning because it's early. So uh, I had a, a subscriber ask me about drawing uh, his characters in proportion. He was always drawing them out of proportion, and he wanted a video on doing proportions, and he wasn't the only one, so there was a few more, so I decided to do this one on proportions. So if you are one that's having trouble drawing one arm too short, one arm too leg, or this is crooked or that's crooked, this video is for you. So sit back, relax, get your pencil, paper, and all of that stuff, popcorn, soda, and let's get into this video. Let's do it. Okay, so this one's going to be on proportions. So right off the bat, forgive me if I say something twice because I might say it again in my intro, and I always film my intro last that way i know what i'm talking about or if something happens in the video then i can bring it up in the intro so you guys won't be surprised so this video came about by a subscriber who asked me and forgive the squeaking it's my chair i bought a, a chair that squeaks okay so um i had a subscriber that asked me how to do proportions because he was having trouble with um, drawing proportions, especially like with punches and kicks and kicks. What? <laughs> with punches and kicks, um, he was having trouble with the length of the arms and the legs and so forth. So I um, decided to do this video for that viewer. And there was a couple other earlier on that asked me to, to do the same thing about proportions. And that's kind of a hard thing to actually teach but uh, I did a little research and I put some stuff together and I'm giving you my view on the whole proportion thing. So first of all, let's draw this quick person. This is my generic, my generic human. And this is what I do when I want to do a quick person, just that. So in your drawing books, it will say that a person is seven heads tall. Now, I've seen seven and I've seen eight. So you say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go eight on this guy. So that's all well and good if you're going to draw people just standing around all day. But if you're drawing comics and you draw somebody that is like, say, like running, then that's going to throw your your seven, eight head tallness out the window. Because if, you do, if you're doing something like this, you know, what are you gonna say? Okay, we got one head, two, the other one goes back, the other one goes back. So when you're doing comics, you have to throw all that out the window. So when you're doing proportions, it's a whole new story. So let's jump right into this. And none of this is scripted. This is like off the top of my head. I did, like I said, I did a little research and did a little measuring and um, try to put it together so that you guys can follow along. So this is my general dummy man that we're going to use. So what I want to do is show you some of the standing proportions and then maybe you can go from there. So we start out, we're throwing the whole seven head thing away, seven, eight head thing away. We're going to start out with the torso. So you, you do your torso. So every book I tell you, every book, every video that I say, you start out with your torso, which is the oval. Okay. Then you do your center line. Then you do this piece, this mountain right here. And that's your rib cage, just underneath your rib cage because your ribs come around like that. So then you do your shoulder blade like that, and then you do your chest. Now, got that so far. Here you have your rib cage right here. Now, at the top of your rib cage, maybe just a few inches from your rib cage, your chest starts. Your chest comes around like this. Now, I usually curve the chest to a degree. Let me go back to this. Now, from here, and he, from this point where this circle touches this line, circle touches this line, this circle touches this line, this circle touches that line. I do a line, you can do straight down or you can curve either way. We'll just go straight down. Now, in the body, where's my little dummy at? Let me find my little dummy and I'll show you guys. 
your body, this is the guy, your body actually starts to take a curve around. Now, you have to know where it curves. I just wrote on this guy. You have to know where it curves around. So this is what this line is for because this starts your curve in your chest. So it's like this, goes up, like this, and it goes up. That's your curve. That's why this line is there. So now, keep all this in mind. So from your torso, you drew your torso right here. Now we're, I'm going to correct some of these lines because this is all measurement. From this point of your torso to this point, top of your torso to the bottom of your torso, somewhere in the center, around about the center of that is where your, all right, stand corrected on that one, where your collarbone, you have your collarbone and the top of your torso, your collarbone and the bottom of that. That's going to be the center part, the center of this. So this and this, I would say about right here. That is where your top of your, that mountain is going to go, that rib cage is going to go in that center part. So as I said, I'm going to correct this because this is my quick drawing. Now, when you're drawing your action pose, you're throwing all this out the window because everything is twisted. But for now, I'll give you a, general guide of what's going on. So now, as I say, right above that, just maybe like a few inches is your chest. There's not a lot of room between this and the bottom of your chest. So we're going to bring that chest up. And remember, we're going to curve at that line here. It goes up. Now, the bottom of your chest, that goes, and I said I was going to ink this, but I don't want to ink it yet to kind of screw it up. So I'm, I'm debating the inking right now. The bottom of your chest, this is where your, and the top of your collarbone, this is where your delt is going to go. Your delt is going to end right there. It's going to come up like that. And I don't know if I'm going to do two sides because I'm going to do a lot of lines. So that, so let me, yeah, let, let me ink this. If I can find an inkable marker. <sighs> so what did I say? We have this. And your collarbone. This is your collarbone right here. So that, just above that, is your chest. Your chest goes up and it actually dips down into your collarbone. Not your collarbone, your, your delt. Now the bottom of your chest, if you draw a line over, that's going to be the bottom of your delt. From, the, from your collarbone down to the bottom of your delt. Now, from the bottom of this, which is the bottom of that mountain for your rib cage, you go across. That is the bottom of your bicep. Your bicep tucks under there and it splits right here at this, this point. And then you get your, your um, tricep like that. But we're, we're worried about the bicep right now. So as it comes down, get another pin at right, Brian. That's going to be the bottom. I oh, know that doesn't right. Right there. So now let's go down. Let's do an ab. Everybody wants to do the abs. So realistically, realistically, your first set of abs are, they come around and under here. This is your actual, your first set. Your second set is a lot smaller and it's going to be about halfway between this and that. And I'll, I'll, I'll point that out later. So it's going to be a small set right here. And your belly button is going to be there at the bottom. Now, everybody has different abs, but realistically, this is how it is. And then the line comes down for your bottom abs. And these are your, your six-pack. But some people have a, another set because they work out really hard up here. You can do that. And then some people draw the actual ribs here's the, the muscle from that ribs here 
And that could be the, the, the six pack right there. Now this camera is blurring, so let me stop it and start it again. And I have no idea why this thing does that. Great camera, crappy video camera. Let me pause it. All right, let us move on from here. Now, if you're drawing the abs, um, let's take this one away. What you can do, or if you feel that that's too high, and this is in measuring now, this is, this is how it's supposed to be. You can always bring that down a little bit and get you more space in here for another set of abs. You can bring it down lower. That's on you. That's your character. That's another thing about uh, proportions. You can't put the same number on everybody, shall we say, because your character could be extremely tall. Your character can be um, another uh, Mr. Fantastic or Plastic Man. So you cannot say you have to go this way, in this direction. All right, now let's go down. Here is your crotch, right there. Now, if you go across, your wrist will be right about the crotch, right about the crotch, right near the crotch. So let's draw this part of the hand, arm comes down, and that's where your wrist is. Now, going down here, your hand, your hand is gonna be in the middle of your thigh. So if this from the crotch to center of your knee, somewhere around the middle right there, that's where your hand is going to drop. Again, I say a lot of times it's useless in comics because your people are always in motion. Now this and this should be the same size. This to here, this to here. They should be the same size. So if you if you if you fold your arm up, that should be the same size or the same length, not the same size. You could have big bicep. So that's that's a given. The same way with your legs. We'll get to the legs later. Now, from your crotch, you're coming up to your waist. And you have this, you want to go down here. Now, how far you want to go down? That's kind of on you, but that's kind of on you. But where your belly button is, that is where you're going. Just below that, you're going to probably, you probably, you're going to have your, um, what is that called? Because you're, you have your obliques, your love handle here. It comes down here where you're, actually it comes all the way down here. Your obliques come down to your leg because your legs and I jump to that side your obliques come down to your crotch your legs come down and your buttocks come from behind but you really won't see that you really won't see too much of that unless you shift position but it is really there and your legs come your legs start way up here and go down like this Like that and then there's that room for your crotch here and your legs come down now as I said the obliques are here don't make them I'll make them I'm rounding them so that you can see it but just like this side if I draw a character I'm keeping it smooth like this keep it smooth but for anatomy sake your obliques come and you fit on top of your leg cuts under here and then you have some buttocks on the side, you, just a little bit. But I'm saying, when you draw, keep it smooth, smooth like that. So let me get that ab in there. Always draw your center line. And these come in like that. You see how it comes in at an angle? Abs don't go straight down. They go in at an angle because you have to have room for your oblique, which is right here. Same thing is right here. That muscle, I'm sorry, because there's a, there's a muscle. It's here and there's a muscle. So it's here and it's a muscle. So you don't really want to work on that. A lot of your fat gets down here. So if you're exercising, 
You don't want to exercise it too much because that will get big because it is a muscle just like your bicep. So, all right, let's finish this leg here. As I said, I'm not inking it yet because it's, it's subject to change. It will change because we're going to do the measurement. Now, realistically, this, the, 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 <clears throat> the actual drawing was not bad. You know, if I'm drawing, I'm going to use that drawing right there. I'm going to add the muscles to it. I'm not really going to worry about, oh, this is a little too short or too long. If it's way off, yes. But if it's close, I'm going to use it because when somebody's looking at your comic book, they're not going to critique everything. I mean, especially if this guy had a nice costume on and he was expressed and his powers were was glowing from his powers, they're going to say, wow, that's a nice picture. As long as one arm is not really hanging way down here and one foot is up here, unless the guy is mutated or that's exactly what you wanted him to be. So don't sweat the small stuff. As long as you have the basis right. So what did I say? Okay, we're doing, doing the leg. Now, from the crotch... To the center of the knee so let's go here from the crotch to the center of the knee will be the same length from the from the ankle let's put it that way so from these three will be the same from the crotch to the center of the knee to the ankle so these are two equal proportions or should be two equal proportions if i look at it i would say I'm going to have to bring, and I'm just, I'm just eyeballing it, this, trying to center this out and in the bottom. So if I eyeballed it and I had to do it, I would say this is where my ankle is going to be. This is where my ankle is going to be, so of course my foot is going to be here, which makes that a little longer. And of course, your heroes are supposed to be taller than an average Joe or Bobby or Sam or whoever. So center that. Now from the, the hip to the hip to the center of the knee, that goes all the way down to the foot. That should be equal proportions. So the hip, center, and the foot. And that looks equal when I go this way. The length between that, that's the center of that. So these are your measuring points when you're actually drawing somebody. If you may be like doing a, a, a pinup or something and a guy may be straight on at you, you can use these measuring points to determine whether your body's going to come out right or not. Like that so this guy it was extremely long but I mean it worked for me now if you're doing the natural right proportions this is what you're gonna have to come up with so and this one that's just six pack you two four and then six and like I say some people they'll do it they'll throw another one in here and then they'll curve it this is when you really want to do um the ripped character i mean the seriously ripped character then you add that one but naturally that's this is part of your six pack you have the, the two here the two here and the two here with your belly button there right on that second set of abs remember that when it comes around that that um rib cage comes around that's going to be your first set oh this is just one big ab but you can drop this down a little bit more if you want to. If that, if that looks too, too big for you, just drop the top of that mountain down a little bit for you so that you can have your six. But I think I saw somebody, some, it was an actor or something that worked out so hard. He had like a 10 pack. So as I say, your character, you can do whatever you please with your character because it's your character. Don't let anybody say that you can't or that's not right. Now... <clears throat> The halfway point from a person, from the top to the bottom. Say like if I drew another person in this box, and a lot of times I'll, I'll do a box or a rectangle like this, and I put a person 
in it because I don't want the person to come out. So I'll say like the head here. Most times I put the head above the, the box, but just for the sake of drawing a person. And as I said, this is, this is my quick person. Like that. Now, the, the top of the head <clears throat> to the bottom of the feet, the halfway point is actually going to come around somewhere around the thighs. Yes, this is very long. So from here to here, the halfway point, and let's do this. If I have this right, if this is all right, the halfway point is going to be round about in the, in the thigh area. Not, not so much the crotch, but down in the thigh area, round about somewhere about here. So if you're trying to draw a whole man, that thigh is your halfway point. Of course, I'm not going to say nobody can draw a perfect man. There are people that can, but as I say again, in comic books, in comic books, you just want to get your basics, your basic proportions right, and then you go from there. Now, doing this in, um, what was I going to say? When you start to do your action poses, that's when you need to start working on your cylinders and it's something I always say to people you need to do, be able to do your shapes now if you are trying to do um, if you're doing any kind of running any kind of jumping because I remember one one thing the guy was saying like when, when somebody's sitting down what does it look like or how long are the legs when a person is sitting down well for that, you have a lot of different sitting positions. I would have to see the position that you were having trouble with, but if I put somebody seated, let's just do one whole thing. If I put somebody seated, and for those of you who say, okay, that just did, didn't look right, <laughs> let, me, <laughs> let me do this. This is, he's sitting in a chair, because that didn't look like right for one second. It did not look right. Now, this is the arms of the chair. And this is the crotch. These are his, his legs. These are the back of his thighs right here. All right, this is, he's sitting in a nice little prone chair. Now this is the, the back of his thighs. Where are you gonna put the knees at? So you can put the knee here in the center, or you can put the knee here on the edge. So that is just like doing a cylinder, it's like this. And then you would have to put the leg. That leg is going to go straight down. So that's going to be a normal um, normal length in, not in perspective, a normal length for that drawing. So if I put that knee, this one's on the side. If I put that knee in the center, I'll move it in the center a bit more. As I say, coming down, it's going to be normal. But you have, you've lost the length right here because of that coming down so you have one leg out more one leg facing you now if I decided to bring both those legs in I drew something dirty without knowing it if I bring that leg in and that leg up so that leg let's just put that leg up here and the foot can go here so your knee would be here and your thigh would be there again actually it comes and it's going to bend and then that foot is going to be up however that foot is going to be so here's the bottom of his chair right here but I just lost it for one second I really just lost it in running or punching the best thing to do is Put your hand where it needs to be. If this was a guy's face, no, you got to eyes are closed because you just punched him in the face. If this was his hand, which hand is this? This is the, it's the right hand. 
Put that hand, is that thing on the inside or the outside? I don't know, it's gonna be there, inside. Yeah. Put your hand where it needs to be. Put your shoulder, uh, your delt where it needs to be. Then your cylinder for this. And then what's left over is your cylinder. What's left over is your del is your bicep. So your bicep is gonna be right here. And these are basically just cylinders. So here, and then your delt right there. And it should, it should work out knowing that a lot of times your bicep is gonna be covered up with by your forearm. I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this thumb and it is gonna be on the inside. Is it? I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it's gonna be on the inside, it's just a weird punch. Yeah, that thumb's gonna be on the inside. So yeah, in the same way with a kick, if you're gonna do a kick somehow, unless it's a, a straight side kick, make sure you guys can see this because I'm not I'm actually not looking. A straight side kick, your legs are gonna be the normal length. Now, if you make your legs, now if you see something, you draw this picture, this is the bad pen. You draw this picture, you say my knee is here and my foot is way out here then yeah, if you see something wrong, then it probably is wrong. If you see it and just in your mind, you say something is not right about that. A couple things you can do, and I'll, I always say, is to turn your picture upside down. Turn your picture upside down. That way you're, you're looking at it from a different perspective, shall we say. Uh, if you have a mirror in front of you, and it's good to have a mirror in front of you. If you have a drawing table, keep a mirror like on your wall or something, or just somehow on the drawing table so you can always see, like if you want to do a hand position or, or a scowl on your face, you see what it looks like. Take your picture and then turn it to the mirror so that you can see it, and you're seeing a reverse, and you'll, you'll be able to see it. And the third thing you can do, it's just walk away from it. Walk away from it. Uh, go get a drink of water or talk to somebody or just some about five or ten minutes. Then come back and then look at it and you say, oh, my God, that leg is long. So that's the best way because if, you, if you're steadily drawing, you're not going to really see your mistakes. But if something snaps in your head like something's not right. I don't know what it is. Something's not right. Walk away from that drawing and then you'll come back with a fresh mind and you'll say, okay, that's not right. But just remembering if this is a straight on, this to here is going to be the length that you need equal proportions, equal proportions from, where was it? From the hip to the foot or from the crotch to the ankle. Those are your proportions. And I'll, I'll use this as a, a um, <sighs> what do you call it? Th the thumbnail so and I'll, I'll flesh this out a little bit more so that you can see it and it'll be good for a screenshot and actually at the end of the video I'll just have it up and it'll be good for you guys to like um, screenshot it and then you can use that for your reference always keep pictures for references I think I said that in the last video always have stuff for references um Let me pause this for a second and think about anything else that I, I need to show you. But this is the basics right here. These measurements will tell you how to draw your supposedly perfect figure, perfectly sized figure. But as I say, once you start having your figure twist, turn, run, and so forth, all of that is just right out the window. And as I said, if you want to stretch a person or if you're not sure of um, where an arm or something goes, you know where the hand should end. If there's another face here and you want to punch somebody, the hand should be right there. If he's holding a gun and you want the gun here, draw the hand, draw the, the um, delt, draw the forearm, and then 
the rest should be the tri the bicep and it should fit up if you're still having problems with it and you walked away and you came back and you looked at it and it still looked wrong that's where it's good to have uh, a, a lot of times a drawing book and let me let me let me pause for that because this is a segue to something else I want to say I had a subscriber Pat K one of my followers who asked me about my drawing books and I told him I had two drawing books and I was working on a third book and the reason I'm working on this particular third book is because like this drawing you might say to yourself um, and I'm reaching for something at the same time so I lost my train of thought you might say oh I like that position but that's not quite the position that I want what would it look like from a different angle so my third drawing book if I can find the pictures is going to be on positions positions let's just say and this is this is small let's just say you like that position but you needed it to be turned from the back or you needed another angle of that same position and this is the this is the third drawing book it's going to be basically uh, 360 drawings so once I finish it it'll be available but I'm still I'm still working on it but as I say let's just say you wanted a position where the guy was blasting his energy break but you needed it from the side you have it now from the side or maybe you needed it from a back angle shooting it at the plane or the person or whatever or maybe you needed a straight back angle shooting it directly at this person so this is what this book is about it's about a 360 kind of view of the angles that you might need or could use so yeah that one's still in the works so there you go Pat that is uh, going to be the third drawing book that when it whenever I don't know when it's going to come out and I'm thinking about some bonus bonus pages which would be my um, action post position pages which which are the pages that I drew for the action post position and you know I just might just throw them these in there as like just fillers to, to give you guys something else so you have extra uh, positions to draw so yeah guys I'm working for you I'm working hard for you I'm looking out for you I'm trying to help you become the best artist you can by giving you the best that I can so I think I was saying something before I jumped into that segue about the book but yes I have three drawing books out the male one with a couple of women the all women and go on Amazon type my name in, and it'll take you right to those books and I also have a coloring book it's a, it was it's a digital coloring book where you can practice coloring and it's got positions in there too so you can use that but yeah enough about what I'm doing back to the video so all right again as I was saying the most important thing is when drawing before you start drawing circle triangle and rectangle do that stuff the circles are going to be uh, your cylinders and that's your most important one of your most important um, things you do because those are your arms and your legs so you got to be able to and this your fist and your shoulder this guy's running he's about to clock somebody this could be the other fist There's another cylinder here this goes back there so you have to you have to master these there is no way around it you have to master these things so that you can uh, be a great artist because that's what it starts out with just squares circles triangles and then from there you just add you just add the shape of the arms and I'm, I'm going to my next video is going to be about drawing ripped um, ripped ripped uh, characters heroes something something in that to that name it's going to be doing that so yeah just by adding you know the lines of proportions where you need them you have that so it's I mean it's really simple to draw once you know how to put the puzzle together it's just it's it's simple where's that thumb that thumb goes on the inside and being an artist I just once I start something, I'm like, yeah, finish it, Brian, finish it, which is bad because I go off the 
I just go off the handle sometimes. Anyway, so yeah, circle, triangle, square. Especially when you start doing perspective, this is, comics is doing more than this. I, and I'm gonna, that's another video I'm gonna get into, what it takes to do a comic book. So when you start wanting to do buildings and cities and stuff like that, you have to know how to do all of this stuff. When you do a room interior, you're going to have to know how to do this stuff. Uh, let's say what, a dresser here or bed or whatever right there, you know, a door here, something else right here. And your person standing right there. So this stuff is, is, I'm telling you guys, you cannot skip this. A good thing to do is just practice drawing your room. Just draw your room. Sit in a corner or someplace and just draw your room and the way things are. Your bedroom, your whatever, and just draw. Start out with your walls. And then just start drawing. what your room looks like. So again, important, 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 and very important because the oval is the head, the chest, the arms, the legs, the only thing that, and you can use that in the oval too, but I use the, the upside down house because it's just easier to do that. So I think I covered everything. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I'll try to do another video later. If I can remember, I'll just, just throw something else in there. But as I say, most important thing, circle, square, triangle, rectangle, ovals, um, cylinders, do that stuff. Do it now. Yeah, so then you will become a better artist. So on that one, I'm going to do this up and at the end of this video you'll see and i have the measuring lines and so forth in there and it will make it a little easier and this is going to be my screenshot so yeah or thumbnail or whatever they call that so with that said i'm going to let you guys go keep drawing keep drawing all right i'm out all right so this is what you're going to have so I drew this out, so I'm just going to do this one last time so you guys will know what all these lines mean. And this little guy down here, he's just like, behold, the perfect man. So, yeah, that, this is his buddy. So, okay, once again, collarbone and the bottom of the chest is where your delts uh, end at. Your, from the collarbone to the bottom of your um, the rib cage. The center is going to be where your chest is going to be. Uh, at the bottom of your rib cage is going to be the where your abs, your first set of abs are going to set, unless you want to put some more. That's up to you. From the top of the collarbone to the bottom of the crotch, your wrist, at the bottom of the crotch, your wrist is going to be there. So from the collarbone to the um, wrist, your, I'm not going to say that's the middle. That's the, the middle would be there. Yeah, the middle would be there. So anyway, from your first ab over, first set of abs or the bottom of the, the, the um, ribs is going to be where your bicep ends. From the wrist to the center of your thigh is where your hand is going to end at. From the hip, from the top of the hip to the bottom of the foot, to the middle, to the top of the hip, to the middle of the knee, you have the bottom of your foot. From the crotch, the bottom of the crotch, to the center of your knee, to your ankle. Those are going to be your halfway points. The top of the hip to the bottom of your foot, halfway to the knee. Bottom of the crotch, bottom of the top of the ankle, halfway point, middle of the knee. The halfway point for your entire body should be somewhere around the thigh. Not necessarily where your hand goes, but somewhere down in there, depending on how tall you are. So... Hopefully, if you can screenshot that and you can see that, that'll kind of help you uh, go on your way. So, that's it. See you guys later.